The Czech Republic is a land of castles and mountains, history and charm. Czech Republic, officially the Czech Republic, is a landlocked country in Central Europe. Its land-bordering countries are Germany, Poland, Slovakia, and Austria. Czech Republic's major regions include Bohemia, Moravia and Czech Silesia. Although being a landlocked country, Czech Republic owns some ports in Germany, such as the Moldohafen port which was originally leased by Czechoslovakia from Germany in 1929 for approximately 99 years, up until 2028, due to Versailles Treaty, and it is considered as something that Czech Republic government owns and not as a foreign state. It has a total area of 78,867 square kilometers it has a population of around 10,700,000. Prague is its capital and largest city. Other big cities are Brno and Ostrava. Czech is the official language, government type, unitary parliamentary republic. Only around 12% of people are Christian, and others declared no religious affiliation at all. National Day, October 28, Independent Czechoslovak State Day. Czech Karuna, CZK, is its official currency. National symbols, national flag, white, red, blue, and the coat of arms, national motto, Pravda vítězí. truth prevails, national anthem, Kde domov můj. where is my home, national music and dance, polka, national costume, Kraj. the oldest ceramic statue was found in Chechia, the Venus of Dolny Vistanis, dating back to 29,000-25,000 BCE. 400 BCA Celtic people called the Boi live in what is now the Czech Republic. The early Czechs. C 500 ADA Slavic people enter the Czech Republic. 10th century the Czechs are converted to Christianity. 929 AD King Venceslas is murdered. 950 Bohemia, the modern Czech Republic, becomes part of the Holy Roman Empire. 13th century Germans settle in Bohemia, the modern Czech Republic towns and trade flourish. 14th century Bohemia is rich and powerful. 1348 Prague University is founded. 1412 the reformer Jan Hus is expelled from Prague University. 1415 Jan Hus is burned to death. 1618 the Thirty Years War begins. 1648 the Thirty Years War ends. Bohemia is left devastated. 1741-42 French soldiers occupy Prague. 1848 revolution breaks out in Prague. Meanwhile the Czechs industrialize. The modern Czechs. 1918 Czechoslovakia becomes an independent nation. 1933 Czechoslovakia suffers badly during the depression. 1935 the Czech economy starts to recover. 1938 the Czechs are forced to give the Sudetenland to Germany. 1939 Germany occupies the rest of the Czech lands. 1942 – The German Reinhard Heydrich is assassinated. 1945 – The Russians arrive in Czechoslovakia. 1948 – The Communists stage a coup in Czechoslovakia. 1953 – A wave of strikes and demonstrations takes place. 1968 – Dubček tries to introduce a more liberal regime. However, the Russians intervene by force. 1977 – Charter 77 is formed. 1989 Communism collapses in Czechoslovakia. 1990 Elections are held. 1993 The Velvet Divorce takes place. The Czechs and the Slovaks form separate countries. 1999 The Czechs join NATO. 2004 The Czechs join the EU. The country formally added the short form name Czechia in 2016, while also continuing to use the full form name, the Czech Republic. Due to its lack of international and domestic conflict as well as its low crime rate, the Global Peace Index in 2016 ranks the Czech Republic as the sixth safest place to live on Earth. The language has a formal and an informal form, and the natives are patient with foreigners who use them inappropriately. They are proud of their Czech language, which the U.S. Foreign Institute ranks as the second most difficult language to learn. They revel in their ability to master it. Puppetry and marionette exhibitions are very popular for both children, and adults and puppetry festivals are held throughout the country each year. The Puppet Museum in Prague hosts shows daily, and has the largest collection in the world. The Czech Republic is known worldwide for its mouth-blown decorated art glass and crystal, all individually made. 
The Czech people have the highest beer consumption per capita in the world. Its first known brewery existed in 993. Pilsners were originated here as did the first ever blonde Pilsners. There are several beer festivals hosted annually. Mushroom hunting is a favorite pastime of the Czech people. In the autumn it is a national passion in the damp forests. They gather yearly at St. Vaclav Day in September, and the hunts can be quite competitive. The Czech Republic is a true paradise for people who love parks and gardens. It has 25 protected landscaped areas and four national parks in addition to broadleaf and conifer forests, rivers, and mountains. Tourism is a big business in the Czech Republic. It has an impressive architectural heritage with 12 UNESCO monuments and many centuries worth of monuments, buildings, towers, bridges, and castles to visit and admire. Prague has been known as the handsomest city of Europe since the 18th century. Prague Castle is the largest in Europe with more than 700 rooms. Český Krumlov Castle is a castle in, Český Krumlov. in the South Bohemian region of the Czech Republic. It dates back to 1240, when the first castle was built by the Vitkovsi family, the main branch of the powerful Bohemian family Rosenberg. Currently the castle is listed as a national heritage site and thus serves as a major tourist attraction. It is the second most visited castle in the Czech Republic, after Prague Castle. The pedestrian Charles Bridge over the Vitava River fills with painters, vendors, musicians and tourists every summer. Known as the castle capital of the world, the Republic has over 2,000 castles, ruins and keeps for visitors to tour and enjoy. The St. Vitrus Cathedral at Prague Castle is home of the Czech crown jewels and the burial place of Czech kings. The Old Town Square is home of the astronomical clock, the annual Christmas market, cafes, street entertainers, the Old Town Hall from 1338 and Baroque era buildings. The Dancing House, or Fred and Ginger, is the nickname given to the building on the in Prague, designed by the Croatian-Czech architect in cooperation with Canadian-American architect Frank Jerry, designed in 1992. The construction was completed four years later. The non-traditional design was controversial at the time because the house stands out among the Baroque, Gothic, and Art Nouveau buildings. Vaclav Havel supported this project, hoping the building would become a center of cultural activity. Jerry originally named the house Fred and Ginger, but is now rarely used. Karlstein. Castle is a large Gothic castle founded in 1348 by Charles IV, Holy Roman Emperor-elect and King of Bohemia. The castle served as a place for safekeeping the imperial regalia as well as the Bohemian crown jewels, holy relics, and other royal treasures. Bohemian Switzerland National Park, also known as Bohemian Switzerland, is a region of northwestern Czech Republic located on the Czech side of the Elbe Sandstone Mountains north of Dechin. on either side of the Elbe River, adjacent to Saxon Switzerland National Park in Germany extending east into the Lusatian Mountains and west into the Ore Mountains. Its highest point is Dechinsky Snezhnik at 723 meters above sea level. It has been a nature reserve since 1972. The region on the right bank of the Elbe has been a national park since January 1, 2000. Ruboka. German, Frauenberg, is a historic Chateau. situated in Ruboka nad Vltavou. It is considered one of the most beautiful castles in the Czech Republic. A short drive north of the city of České Budějovice. The huge white neo-Gothic Luboka Castle, Luboka nad Vltavou, is said to be the most beautiful of the Czech Republic's many fine castles. Built on the site of an older 13th-century fortress, the current castle was constructed in the 1660s and was given its present Gothic Tudor style, loosely based upon that of England's famous Windsor Castle, in subsequent extensive renovations. Highlights of a visit include its huge hedge mazes and lush foliage, along with its fine interior woodwork, stained glass windows, and furnishings. The castle also houses an extensive collection of art, including numerous pieces by leading Czech artists. Some Czechs who are internationally renowned in their fields of endeavor include Gregor Mendel, Science of Genetics, Alphonse Mucha, Visual Arts, Franz Kafka, Literary Arts, plus Martina Navratilova and Ivan Lendl, Sports Tennis. Czech citizens František Burian and Arnold Jirásek founded the first plastic surgery in 1927. Inventors have abounded throughout the history of the Czech people, 
and Czechs have invented the first grounded lightning rod, the screw propeller, the modern compass, sugar cubes, photogravure, the arc lamp, the plastic explosive Semtex, and soft contact lenses, among other things. In 2019, Czech Republic major trading partner countries for exports were Germany, Slovak Republic Poland, France and United Kingdom, and for imports they were Germany, China, Poland, Slovak Republic and Italy. The Czech economy gains a substantial income from their tourism industry. The Czech Republic has an advanced, high-income economy and a high standard of living. In fact, it is the most stable and prosperous of the post-communist states, with the lowest unemployment rate in the European Union. Czech food is a universal term which refers to a broad group of traditional Czech and Slovak patties. Although they are predominantly made with minced pork, beef, or chicken, they can also be based on various vegetables, fish, soy, lentils, oats, and even cheese. Apart from the base ingredients, they usually incorporate onions, garlic, and a variety of spices. Most types are shaped into thick, round patties that are breaded and pan-fried until crispy and golden brown in color. Both Czechs and Slovaks consume them as a quick and nutritious lunch or dinner. The name of this Czech national dish translates simply as pork roast with bread dumplings and sauerkraut. Pork is roasted in the oven with chopped onions, and the drippings from the roast are reduced into a sauce that is served with the dish. The sauerkraut can be stewed or served plain, and it can range from sweet to sour depending on the chef. Sauerkraut can also be replaced with red cabbage or enriched with the addition of sliced bacon and caraway seeds, a spice used frequently in Czech national cooking. Plain bread dumplings are usually standard alongside this dish, but potato dumplings occasionally make an appearance in their stead. is served in most Czech households as a regular weekend meal, but it is also often the central dish served during Christmas dinner. The dish is believed to have German origins, and the German cooking tradition almost certainly influenced the three essential parts of the dish. However, it has become a Czech national dish, and it can be found in every traditional restaurant across the country. For the locals, a good Czech Pilsner beer is a must alongside this comforting, hearty classic. Česnečka. In Czech folklore, the best cure for a cold or a hangover is a bowl of Česnečka. a traditional garlic soup. Although garlic is the key ingredient, the soup also incorporates potatoes, meat broth, onions, and traditional spices such as caraway and marjoram. This healthy dish is usually topped with grated cheese and crunchy croutons, and it is commonly served and enjoyed as an appetizer. Uzene is a Czech term which refers to a variety of smoked meat products such as pork joints, pork ribs, or different types of ham. Whether they are industrially produced or smoked in traditional smokehouses, Uzene. products are often served as cold cuts and enjoyed as appetizers, although they can additionally be boiled and served as main courses, usually alongside dumplings, mashed potatoes, or peas. Goulash. Traditional goulash is a hearty meat stew served with a dark red sauce that is heavily seasoned with paprika. Through history, this dish with Hungarian origins has become one of the most common meals in the Czech Republic and Slovakia. The two countries have created their unique version, slightly different from the original. It usually consists of beef, pork, or game meat, browned and simmered alongside onions for hours until the broth thickens.